And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Golgari Troll. That's right, this is a troll deck. We got four Clack Bridge Troll in here. So that's what our deck's about. We are going to be trying to uh, play a bunch of trolls, give our opponents a bunch of goats, and see how it works out for us, basically. <laughs> So yeah, whether this deck is good or not, who knows? We basically we built it on stream yesterday together, and we just started with with four Clack Bridge trolls, and kind of went from there. Uh, as before, besides that, as you can see, we just kind of have a, a hodgepodge of Golgari cards, kind of smattered together here. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not playing this Jungle Hollow by the way. I'm playing a six Swamp. That's what the deck list says. Decider Man is probably good enough without that. So yeah, we got a bunch of clack bridge trolls. Um, I am going to try to Blight Beetle in the sideboard. This card could be pretty bad as it's just a 1-1. One, 1-1s one. One, are not really impactful on the game, but we'll see. There's a lot of uh, green green decks running around, and there's also a lot of 1-1 uh, one, one counter stuff with the green decks. You have cards like the Great Henge that puts counters on their things. You have Hydrocrasis is just always a 0-0 zero, zero if you have Blight Beetle in play. Uh, we've seen Yorvo, the triple green card, gets counters whenever you play new green creatures. Not anymore. Um, Vivian Arcbow Ranger, they're in those those green decks, can't add counters to their creatures anymore. Um, you have, against Simic Flash, you have like Wildborn Preserver. Also, that's another thing that gets counters. And then also Simic Flash has like the Brineborn Cutthroat getting counters. So I don't know. There's, there are things we'll see. It may not actually want the, you know, it may turn out that the blight beetles won't be very good. But yeah, uh, <clears throat> hopefully we can get like a lot of like Clackbridge trolls should probably let us play till a pretty late game. You know, it, like they're probably going to be sacrificing the goats. So like whenever we play it, we'll be like game three life draw card for a while. Um, and hopefully that gets us to like the Great Henge, which also gains us life and, and so on. And then we can get to a later game. Maybe we have Nissa in play. We can add a lot of mana, extra mana with Nissa with the forest. And then boom, we can finale for 10, return all, all of our creatures back from the graveyard to the battlefield, destroy some stuff. So that could be pretty cool. But yeah, we got we got haste. You know, we're kind of like Golgari haste here with, with Troll and Beast. We got Ceratops in the board. Um yeah, that's, that's kind of what our deck's all about. Maybe we finality and clear off a bunch of goats. Um, that could be something that we could do. Liliana isn't Liliana's minus four is admittedly not too strong with giving your opponent a bunch of goat tokens. So that's another card right there. Like maybe we sh we're supposed to be playing Ugin. Maybe we need a second find finality. We'll kind of see. That's that's a card that's on the hot seat here. That maybe we're going to take out this Liliana. Um, so yeah, that's our deck. Yeah, Golgari Haste. You know, Nissa makes haste creatures. Nissa and Finality don't work super well together, but you know what are you gonna do? All right, let's see how this goes. Don't you like making janky theme decks and having no idea how it will play and just going and probably ruining your rating? that your last two decks just gave you gave you a really good rating and we're about to go tank this rating now or maybe it's actually great and we'll climb to, to number one who knows don't you love <clears throat> tanking your rating I hope I chose the right deck I think I did We're down to 27. Yay, right deck. I don't think Beetle stops Nissa. Cause it's it's a weird like layers thing. Like the the you're putting like counters onto a land, not a creature. So Beetle doesn't stop Nissa. As far as I know, like that's what I've always heard. Once upon a time, uh, I want to take the troll, but we probably should hit a land drop, right? We didn't really come here to hit land drops. We kind of came here to play trolls.
Yeah, Nissa says the land gets counters, then becomes a creature. Yeah, you put three 1-1 one -one counters on a non-creature land. The beast. That makes sense. Otherwise, it would die to state-based actions. It'd be a zero-zero. The beast. That's a cool animation. Man, if they just keep bouncing my Clackbridge troll and just keep getting more goats, that would be annoying. But of course, goats can't block the beast either, so we don't have to worry about the goats chump blocking the questing beast. They can't block that. That is true that this... That is true. This Legion's End is looking pretty nice right now. I just want to play the troll, though. Better not counter this. Whew. We got it in. Oh, baby. We got the troll in here. These goats. Aw, oh, look at those little goats. They got a shoe. Shoot away the troll. That's true. We can legions and the goats too. No. You can't absorb a troll. What are you doing? You can't absorb a troll. I wish I could double spell better. Like, I, I wish I could play this and then if they counter it, then play something else big. And not the other way around. GG, 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 GG. So everything costs GG in their hand. All right, kill the Tulsimers. So they don't get to gain three life or fight.
It cannot protect itself. Rise, my elemental friend. Get some planeswalkers in play. All right, that works. I like the mono black value deck with Wrinkle earlier. Uh, we were talking about maybe making some some changes to the the deck though. If you check out like the end of the YouTube video there, but that was a but Wrinkle looked pretty sweet with that one there. All right, so they're playing Bant Flash with Tulsimer. Um, so Noxious Grasp. You know, helps w against the wolves, but doesn't really do anything else. We don't really see them have... I guess we're still supposed to play those. We don't really see them have any counter magic there. All right. We'll take out this other finale of Eternity... I guess I don't really need the Noxious Grass. We already got Murderous Riders. Hmm. Honestly, I should probably take out Nissa. Nissa lands don't match up here. I got I kind of panicked. We had to like cut something really quick, and so I just kind of cut the the trolls because like, we saw them be able to bounce it and everything there. But honestly, I should probably cut Nissa, not troll. That was a a panic right there of sideboarding fast before the time ran out. Put more things down to the bottom. Okay, they have Wildborn Preserver also. Certainly makes me like... Makes me like, um, Noxious Grasp more. I guess I'm, I guess I'm supposed to be playing Blight Beetle here. Like they gotta be playing Brineborn Cutthroat too, right? <laughs> I was thinking that block was gonna be like, oh, well, they won't have a counter spell. For that, but never mind. I guess they got Veil of Summer. Um, a good. Oh yeah, that just gets countered and just goes over there now. Wow, that hurts. I don't know a good Linden replacement off the top of my head.
Yeah, we probably don't have the two decks to go. We've been streaming for ten and a half hours already. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't think we have time. We don't have like time for all this stuff. But that was the plan originally. All right, whatever. That was not competitive. It's Blight Beetle. See, like, when you mouse over the card, it makes it big. But some of these don't. That's kind of weird. Like, Murder Strat, Ceratops doesn't. Beast doesn't. There's Troll. Find. No Citadel. No for Garrick. I'm not going to play the, the Blight Beetles. All right, game three. That's what we needed. We needed to not... Um, you know, the reason why we drew so bad there is because we took out the, the trolls in our Golgari troll deck. And my deck is like, what are you doing? Why did you take out the trolls? We're just going to give you lands the whole time. We'll show you a troll. And I was like, dang, sorry, deck. All right, trolls back in. And now we have a, a respectable hand. We have to have four or more lands for that. Yeah, it counts it's, it counts itself. I have like six and seven basics or so. So I think I have like thirteen. I just have two. I just have two Fabled Passage. Veil of Summer is so good. It's Cryptic Command. One mana. Taking it, going down to nine. Where we got the pro blue Ceratops. Joining in the party as well. <laughs> the questing piece animation is unsettling. <laughs> so yeah, they could block here and then they play something to pump, and then I kill.
right. That doesn't kill. This kills. That's what I meant to do. So they get the block in there. <laughs> I'll take the either rest. I don't think we need to play a spell into Absorb or Sinister Sabotage here. <laughs> no, Questing Beast doesn't have Trample, I know, right? Doesn't have a... Doesn't have enough keywords there. Golgari Troll! Getting us back to... <laughs> what the heck, Watsy? Why doesn't it have Trample? Getting us back to 15, where we were before our last loss. Bum, 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 bum. All right. It's a high curve. We're on the draw, though. Hopefully, we get to draw lands. What, you know, land or a once upon a time would be nice here. <laughs> Questing Beast needs Trample, Reach, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to an opponent, you win the game. <laughs> we opened 175 packs. And you can watch the video of us opening up all the packs on YouTube as well. I put the, the video up on YouTube. Yeah, and hex proof. Hey, there you go. Got a circle of loyalty and a great henge as your renewal gift. Awesome. I got a great henge. That was the mythic that I got for that. I kind of feel like I might have gotten a circle of loyalty too now. No, I don't think I did. I don't know. Maybe. Taking the queen. Don't want me to draw land and then go queen, destroy hero. Even though Murderous Rider can just destroy hero. See, this seems like a pretty beast turn. Yeah, we're doing good. We're holding up. Only got an hour and a half left. Easy. We're going to we're going to troll some people. Give me this beast back. Down to 12, just three more hits from the beast. <laughs> What's the card that's been the most solid so far in Throne of Eldraine? Definitely... Um... Definitely Oko. Oko looks really, really good. Oh yeah, I guess I was gonna say Planeswalkers. I was like, what to you could trade that out with, but that looks pretty good. I'm not sold that impassioned oracle 
is worth it, but maybe it is. Could also go with like Gideon. I like Gideon in that kind of deck. All right, look for Black Source. Well, I guess Incubation Druid is a Black Source. All right, so the Knight can grow. to block the beast. Not anymore. I think I should have done it the other way. Attack with the beast, let them block with knight, and then play Garrick. I don't want to play the troll here. No. Oh, wait. They're legendary. Never mind. Definitely playing the troll. <laughs> Forgot. Legendary. All right, we're trolling our opponent. Gain three life, draw a card. Let's do that a bunch. I guess playing that swamp, if they have Basilica Bell Haunt, now I have to discard this. I guess I should keep that in hand because of Bell Haunt. That'd be bad. I'll feel bad. Please don't play Belhan. I'll feel bad. What? What? Huh. No, Cast Down rotated out. Cast Down was Dominaria with all the legends. Well, they may be dead. Now that they drew a card and lost a life. Yeah, cast down out, epic downfall in. Which, epic downfall does sound kind of cooler than cast down. We're on a quest. Oh, they just have millions of creatures. Can't block. Okay, let's see. So Esper Hero. I like Citadel. Um... Kind of just like Citadel. <laughs> yeah, Questing Beast is so good. That's all you have to say. You don't have to say so good against Esper, just so good. Just click. End, end of story. Yeah, 
Um, I don't think I want Finale too much. Maybe I do. Yeah, maybe I do want Finale. I was thinking about boarding out Finale. They're going to be playing, like, Kaya's Wrath and stuff, probably. Like, do I just take out Nyssa? Oh, Nyssa doesn't really fit my deck too well. But it's just a busted card. I'm going to take out the trophy. We don't even need the trophy. <clears throat> Until my opponent plays, like, Bolus of Citadel, and then I'm going to be like, I wish I had trophy. Love it. This hand's the goat. Giving them a bunch of goats isn't really a downside if they're just going to wrath the board. Troll time. I like zero mana once upon a time. We've been doing like really good of like having one once upon a time and not having, you know, like four of them. And then like, the, you know, the others just get stuck in your hand and then you have to pay mana for them. And you don't want to pay mana for them. I thought, <sighs> pity we couldn't have been allies. I don't like them just being able to loot and everything. We'll just clear that up with the Golgari Queen where they can't attack Golgari Queen now. Troll's been pretty good. We haven't we haven't done too much with it. We've played it twice and they immediately sacked a goat to like make us draw a card. I think actually yeah, we played twice. One time it got countered, and then the other time they did that. Or, like, they they bounced it, I guess. Yeah, one time they bounced it back to our, to our hand. Everyone is expendable, except me. All right, so that was a really good turn for our opponent. You know, Hero, Thought Erasure. Turn four, that's a good turn. Give him that three power to take out Frasca. Oh, Unfortunate. Anyway. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. Another very good turn for them. All right, well, let's just get our gain three life draw card every turn card down. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Have a little bit more information what we want to do with this rider. Looks like I'm probably taking out Knight. You definitely have Dovin's Veto, though.
Yeah, they're paying the troll toll. Yeah, so we get an extra two cards and six life every turn. This might be a bad idea. It's pretty easy to stay alive through like little creatures when you're gaining six life a turn and, and drawing, you know, we get three cards a turn instead of just the one. Hope they don't play. Hope they don't play Narset. They don't get to draw cards anymore. Nice, Mac. My, sorry, Mike. Glad you're digging the Twitch redesign. I haven't really determined yet if I like it or not. Yeah. Usually the thing about re redesigns is they're just like, you're just so used to like the other thing and that it's just different and kind of jarring and you're like, what what is this? Combat. Gain six life, draw two cards. So they have two cards in hand. They could have a Dovin's Veto. Um... I would rather have this get countered than Vraska get countered, I guess. Maybe that's not even actually true. Maybe that's not even true. So they did not counter that. Oh, so they they had the counter spell, they just didn't counter the mur the uh, swift end there. I was going to obviously be ticking up there. Target the goats. Uh, target the trolls. Yeah, all of my decks are here. And also, all of the replays of all my videos, if, if y'all are a little newer to the channel, check them out on the YouTube channel. It's pretty easy to find stuff there as well. Go to the YouTube channel right there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. You can see the um, you can see the the replays if you want to check them out. I also at the end of the at the end of all the videos I talk about the deck as well, and sometimes I talk about changes uh, to the deck also. And so yeah, so check out the YouTube channel as well. Attacking for eight here. Make that a little bit more than eight. We need more life. I won't forgive this. You can have some more goats. Yeah, I like I like doing dark mode everything also. So I can pay two life to have once upon a time available. Let's pay two life and play another druid. We need to kill this Knight of the Ebon Legion here pretty soon. Or draw draw a Legion's end. Wow, no attacks. That's a shame concede. Accidentally clicked through attacks. 
if I've ever seen one right there. All right. Our <laughs> our janky troll toll deck is 2 and 0. Oh. Clackbridge troll unbeatable as we saw there. <laughs> Can't keep playing the troll toll. <laughs> yeah, we've done we've done good. Eleven and one in our last our last twelve matches. Yeah, trolls doing work, getting us a lot of um, getting us a lot of uh, cards and everything, gaining us a lot of life. Let's see. Looks pretty good. Venerable Knight. I haven't played against much knights. Only played against it one time. Only played against a knight deck once so far. I kind of wish I didn't just take out the Witch's Vengeance from the sideboard for a Blight Beetle. <laughs> this is the matchup where I'd want it. I'm not even going to block, you know? I'm nice enough. Looks like they probably have removal here. The Murderous Rider. That's lucky. It's not that I don't play my card, though, still. I should still play my card. Yeah. Totally not a Murderous Rider there. Well, they're attacking for four turn. It's now six, and I'll start gaining three life a turn. And then this will allow us to get this great henge out real easily next turn. Ooh. Letting me stay on D. It's got it. They probably have like another murderous rider then. Which is bad for me. No. That's kind of rough. Witness the ties that bind us all. So if we stay at four, we have two blockers, and so they can put, attack us down to two anyway. So we might as well go to two and have the three blockers. Oh, 
don't know what this attack's about. Don't know what that attack was about. Did I command the Dread Horde to bring them all back or something? Midnight? Nature's true power. Blocking with the goats. Well, I guess I just minus get rid of this flyer just to kind of help us out a little bit. All right, sweet. Well, there we go. Let's get another finale. Hmm. Probably just that finale. I don't really need Assassin's Trophy, do I? Maybe I do. Finished a game against the Doom Foretold deck. I saw the 60 cards in the opponent's deck, and it was awesome. Nice. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do it for a donation deck for sure. So if we play this trophy, this other trophy. I want to take out like the six mana cards. Maybe a Golgari Queen? No. I guess Garrick is better than Liliana. Making two blockers instead of one blocker. I just won't play this trophy. The second trophy. Mulligan. Keep. We can't troll our, our opponent too much. We don't want them to, to leave, be upset. We'll just troll them. We'll go double troll instead of triple troll. Triple troll is a little much. But yeah, we got turn two, two drop, turn three, beast, turn four, troll. We got the fourth troll. No, 
I definitely can't bottom the third land. Oh, bottom the, th the that land there, then, in case they killed, they killed the incubation druid. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess we could have. Basically, it was a tap land. Like if it was a if it was an untapped land, I would have kept it on top. But it was a tap land, and I wanted to curve, uh, questing beast with the next turn, and then troll the next turn. But the tap land didn't didn't allow me to do that. So yeah, that's why I put that that land to the bottom that temple. If it was. If it was untapped, I would have kept it. Wishclaw, Talisman, and Karn. If you have the time to do it, it is pretty good. All right, we got to get that fifth land so we can triple troll it up. No. I could trophy my opponent's swamp to help keep them off black mana. <laughs> okay, that's probably not a good idea. Uh, no, I I haven't been impressed with Rakdos Aggro yet. I've, I've only played against a Rakdos Aggro deck like once or twice, but... Yay. <sighs> they need to sack the goat. They don't know how my troll works. Got to pay the troll toll. This is like basically my only way to stay alive. So I can trophy that, but then I still die to the creatures. I could trophy kill one creature. But like, what are we really doing here? All they got to do is attack with another one. Alright, trophy's terrible. Let's get that out of here. Let's get Veil of Summer in here. Veil of Summer is pretty good. Yeah, let's just play some Veil of Summers. That sounds like a good idea. I like that idea. We don't need Nissa. Yeah, instant speed, dance of the mans. The new instant speed scape shift. All right, we got a little bit more removal here. Temple hopefully finds us another black source. That looks like another black source to me. We have we have a couple of finales. Think about like we need a sweeper. We got this, we got some finales, and we also have find finality. So we have we have finality. We have finales. We have like three. That's three sweepers. Yeah, Kenrith is is good. Mm, I guess I just legions end these things. Instead of finale them, because like, might as well get the two for one there, where we can save this and get more creatures later on. 
Let's draw some lands. Do, 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 do. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> so I should probably kill the Midnight Reaper with Murderous Rider. So they don't draw lots of cards whenever we use Finale. So if I just use Finale here, we can just kill, you know, Kill their two things and they don't get to circle. Do I even care if they circle, though? Not really. Fuck this. <laughs> I heard the big stay on the trail. I want to get three creatures with this finale. Oh, but I don't I don't have Veil of Summer available. Oh no! If they kill my Garrick, that's going to be so bad for me. Did I need to wait till I had another mana? Oh, please don't kill Garrick. Awesome. Have a good night, Yud. We did have a lot of good decks today, a lot of good ideas that we talked about, a lot of good... Dis I know y'all have been discussing in the chat and everything about lots of new cards and stuff, so... Yeah, real good day today. Yay. Not killing Garrick. Uh, block. Does this do something crazy? Cast a legendary spell, make a knight. Pay four, make a knight. So, no, not really. Oh no, those goats are one twos now. Boo. Alright. You don't want to sack a a goat? Well we're bashing for eight. And next turn you're dead. We were born for the hunt. Yeah, next turn we can Garrick Emblem. Swing. Of course, they can just sack next turn, though, as well. Well, unless we kill them all. I would have to say that the one thing that I'm disappointed with Arena so far today with the new set is that Gilded Goose makes the sound of an eagle whenever you play it. It's not the sound of a goose. Planning on activating Night, I guess? No goats for you. Yeah. Oh, really? They're looking into fixing that? Okay. Our troll deck is actually winning. We were just making a troll deck. I thought I was going to be ranking down with the troll deck. But we're actually winning. We're 3 0. We're up to number 11. Our opponents are getting. Trolled. Yeah, they they did not they were not able to pay the troll toll. So there we go.
probably need a mulligan. Like this is this is a two lander with having once upon a time. So like this is two land paradise druid Golgari queen with these. Well, maybe we don't need a mulligan. So two land druid, you know, we got to draw the third land, then we get to queen, but then then we have to draw. So we have to draw two lands and our paradise druid has to survive and then we can start playing these other three cards. No, so that's that's kind of asking a lot. We'll ship it. Um And I guess we're going to get rid of the henge. And that card's busted. <laughs> Don't ask the goose how the eagle soars. What are we playing against? Watery Grave? No, we don't need that against Watery Grave. Which is Vengeance main deck? No, that... No. No. The card is good against Knights. Don't really want that card against most everything. Cauldron's familiar. Am I supposed to lead and that thing? Probably not. No, we're not going to make it all through, through all the decks because, yeah, we've already been alive for 11 hours and 20 minutes. So, no, we're, this is going to be our last deck of the night. Chamber Sentry. What kind of combo deck you got going on over here, Kevcon? So this thing still costs four mana with, with Gargoyle in play. Can't block unless you have four or more, so it can block right now. I'm just going to kill it. Sorry, Dosage. We'll get to Teamer tomorrow. Um, yeah, if you want to know, if you want to, thoughts on the teamer deck before I leave, if you, if you check out like my, my, my VODs from yesterday, I guess I don't, I don't know how much of it would be muted though, but my, my VOD here on Twitch from yesterday, we talked all about the decks. Uh, I need a murderous rider, this thing. They don't have double green though. They don't have double green right now. No double green, no double green. <laughs> yeah, questing visa is so, so freaky there. Yay, no double green. Can only do one thing now. We were born for the hunt. 
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to attack with Questing Beast. Wow. Just done. Dude, this troll is sweet. Yeah, I can block the Serpent. The Serpent's just protection from multicolor. The, the Questing Beast is monocolor. So Questing Beast, block Serpent. So don't know too much what's going on over there. It seems like they got big creature and great henge combo. So trophy that can take out great henge. I guess. Certainly some kind of combo deck over here. Where is this finale? Let's get a we'll get one duress. Just to take like whatever their combo card is, we have that one duress just to get it. There we go. We got that one duress. That'll get it for us. That's good sideboarding. Right there. Have that one get it. That one uh Their one combo card is going to get taken by our one duress. <laughs> Thanks, Jarrett. Your opponent just equipped a Steel Claw Lance without paying any mana for it. Are they allowed to do that? They're probably allowed to do that. That would be my guess. Do they equip it to like a fervent champion? Yeah, probably equip it to the red one drop. That says that the equip cost costs nothing. So we have a great henge and a Garrick down at the bottom now. I did cast once upon a time for free. I like I like waiting to cast it though, so I have more information whenever I'm making my decision. Looks like they have Vela Summer. You know, they sh they shocked there to play Vantress Gargoyle. So it definitely looks like Vela Summer. So I think I'm going to try to trophy. On their turn. I guess they get to just recast it with Emery. This is an Emery combo deck. until it's too late. Boy, don't flatter yourself. So we have three cards in the graveyard right now. They need seven for this gargoyle.
playing the troll means they're going to be able to kill Vraska. Unless I chump block with the Incubation Druid. Yeah, you can play it after attack phase. It's then you know they then you get to block with it, but then they still get like the the goats and everything. All right, so we're gonna do that. Then I'll just have double murderous rider here, kill reaper, kill gargoyle. Whoops. Should have killed the Midnight Reaper first. All right, all right. Yeah, that's my bad. So if I wait, I risk them having another Vela Summer. I guess there's three Vela Summers in the graveyard. Not super likely that they're going to have another Vela Summer. But yeah, we'll make them discard first. Yeah, our opponent's deck's kind of all over the place. It's pretty interesting. Tap, sack a creature, create a food. Oh yeah, these are in exile. They're not in my graveyard. I was like, ooh, can I find back these murderous riders? No, that's not how that works. A lot of work for minimum value. All right, so that's annoying.
Get rid of this Midnight Reaper. Ooh, they still sacked that thing first. Okay. Yeah, the cat just keeps on coming back. I don't think I have, like, anything to exile the cat. <laughs> it's pretty messed up that Salem the cat is stuck in the cycle of cooking and eating himself. Alright, so they are a Citadel deck. Okay, interesting, interesting. Going down to eight. It's not a whole lot of life when I got this troll here. They can keep on sacking the cauldron familiars to the troll. Yeah, we've drawn a lot of Midnight Riders here this game. So I think this hits a little harder here right now than, you know, like, than the... Um Then playing the other troll does. That's what I want to do. Hit hard. Where we're at in this point of the game. This one's still pretty close. They got a good engine here. Get to untap with Citadel. It's pretty close here. Cat food. Exile target cat for <laughs> for three turns or until cat food leaves the battlefield. Yeah, just the cat just keeps on coming back. Yeah, they, they do look pretty fat with all that food. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to destroy the, the Vantress Gargle instead. Instead of the oven.
All right, might as well give them a bunch of O3s. They got to sack two a turn. So we get to draw two more cards a turn. I don't even know what I'm trying to draw in my deck, honestly. I think I boarded out finales. No, not the Great Henge. Oh, that card's busted. Now these cauldron, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Drawing a card every time one of these cauldron familiars comes back. Now they're down to twenty-four cards in library. We're at thirty-two. So as far as milling them out goes, yeah, I think I have legions ends in the deck. Maybe I sideboard them out. I don't remember. That was a while ago, and we've been playing for close to twelve hours now. Maybe I sideboard out Legion's End. If I did, we're definitely bringing them back in. You know, for these familiars, the Gargoyle. I don't remember. Yeah, looking for another oven. Opponent's at 17 minutes, I'm at 20, so not really any risk. This is game two, not risk of running out of time. Risk of milling out, though. I don't know, like, what, what keeps them from milling out? I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to see. They're down to 10 cards. Like, they could, you know, obviously they could have, like, a Jace or something like that or a, something that shuffles everything back. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, they got a blue finale. Let's shuffle up our library. Let's see what we got in here. So we got Nissa. Okay, we got a trophy, our own Great Henge. There's Legion's End. We have at least one Legion's End, a Garrick. So the two Garricks, two Legion's End. Yeah, Legion's End would be nice. Bunch of nothing. Going down to the bottom. Its loss will
guess Great Henge plus Incubation Druid is pretty cool. Get that counter on there so it taps and adds three mana. I think I'm supposed to destroy their Great Henge from here, right? So they don't get to gain life with this thing. Ah, cast my spell. Oh, they can just replay it with Emery. That's kind of a waste. That's a waste of a trophy. Just replay it. That's a waste. Could have killed Emery. Instead. Make him draw a card. They're down to seven. Yeah, I hope they don't have a Jace. I mean, yeah, so I probably should have just kept Trophy available if they did have a Jace. This game is wild. Uh, taking out my Vraska. I'll take out my Vraska. I'm I guess the day's your lucky day. at 24 cards. They're at six. If I had like finality, if I had like a sweeper, you know, we just make them draw their cards with Midnight Reaper. This can cast any artifact in their graveyard. Yeah, they're just they're making big serpents trying to kill me. Maybe we draw a Legion's End. Exile those things. We can also just make some Oh, these aren't blockers. Because they're multicolor. I guess they have their witch's oven like protects them from legion's end kind of. All right, they're sacking their reaper. Darn. They can't take more damage. Cuz yeah, they were going to take more damage to the trolls. Um Any reason to play this main phase? I don't think so. Let's play this thing main phase draw card. <laughs> hey, yeah, glad you really liked it, Baloney Pony. Yeah, that probably need to, like, did you see, like, the change? Did you listen to, like, the end of, like, the YouTube video? Like, see, like, the changes they were talking about maybe doing with the mono black deck? Yeah, I could definitely see ramp kind of being a problem. Uh, great, the great henge. Whenever we play a creature, it gets a one-one counter, and we draw a card. Down to four cards. This. 
I hunt bigger game. So questing beast can kill the nine nine. We have the eight eight blocks the six six. They're down to three cards, two life. They're so close to dying. Um, way too early assessment of new standard. Um, proactive Simic decks are, are pretty good while everybody's kind of figuring out what removal to play and, and stuff like that, like what, what interaction to play and everything. All right, we are 4-0. With Golgari Troll, we're at number 10. Been streaming for 11 hours, 52 minutes. Uh, do we play one more? We play one more? All right, so we can clear 12 hours. Here we go, we'll go with the final boss playlist. But yeah, we'll have to get to these decks tomorrow. The other decks there. All right, can we crack top 10? Well, we're, we're at number 10, so I guess that is top 10. But, you know, can we get into single digits? With our troll deck that I thought that I was just going to be... I didn't know if, like, this deck was actually going to be any good. I was like, oh, we'll probably tank our rating <laughs> with our, our troll deck. But then we've just won our matches so far. So we've just been winning our games. Aw, oh, thanks, Plumber. Yeah, here's Encore time. Uh, I love this card. We need lands, though. Yeah, I, I like the green Stompy deck. I think, I think it's strong. I was more confident in that deck than this one that we're currently playing, for example. What cards have impressed me so far? Um, Oko looks like the real deal. Um, Wicked Wolf has been better than I thought, basically because of Oko. Um, Royal Scions and Ironclad Pyromancer, both of those two cards looked really good in, in an Is It like Phoenix type deck. I don't know if like Phoenix is that necessary, but like that that kind of deck. Uh, that that was our one loss in our last fifteen matches. Um. Well, they're not playing Counter Magic. What's up, Serious Ward? Thank you so much for the sub there. I appreciate that.
Storm count 35. If you really enjoyed the stream today, also would like to help support me as a full-time streamer. Whoops, wrong link. <laughs> There we go. I meant to do the sub one. Consider hitting the sub button right there. You get access to all those, all 22 of those awesome emotes. As well. Um, are we ranked number 10 in the world right now? I, I suppose so, according to Arena. They're just like the Arena rankings. Hmm. Let's see. Get more lands. All right, now we're set up mana wise. Raisin Borrower. So we got Teamer cards over here. They've gotten a lot of lands into play. They're down to just three cards, though. All right, so Reclamation. More mana. Chemistry's Insight's a great card to have when you have, like, infinite mana, which is what Wilderness Reclamation is. Get a swamp. Let's get a swamp crap. Uh, play incubation druid. That is awesome, Skylar. Getting winning records. Last two weeks in a row with mono black control. That is awesome. Glad to hear it. That was definitely a favorite deck of mine in the last format. Do I slow roll the scry intentionally? No. Gadwick is so good. Look how good that card is. Draw five. Card's so good. I guess I could have played Golgari Queen first, but they would have just done that in response anyway. Yeah, Gadwick is so good. Main deck, Mystical Dispute. Oh, right, that just counters. Okay, that's not just counter target blue spell, right? That's just mana leak.
Well, now I don't get to hold up trophy to to kill Reclamation next turn. I wanted them to like tap out, and then I reclamate. Then I trophy Reclamation. Yeah, playing. Yeah, Gadwick draw five, then untap with Reclamation. That is real gross. So they have Expansion Explosion, I'm dead. That's what it's kind of looking like here. More damage. Um... So that's 64. I don't really know exactly what I want to cut besides this. Honestly, probably like Golgari Queen, Murderous Rider. Kind of thing. I'm just going to take out the Murderous Riders. The three one, you know, that brazen buccaneer really is a nuisance. Like that, that does a lot of damage to you, and then you know get to put you in explosion range. Like that, that is rough. That was the land. That was the exact land I wanted. Oh, how often I analyze whenever they keep the card on top really fast. I gotcha. Yeah, that's that's definitely something that I pay attention to. Yeah. Yeah, no, once upon a time has been has been very good. Like it it's helped uh add a lot to the consistency of the deck and I'm playing like at least one less land than I want to be playing normally. I was hoping my opponent didn't do that and didn't think that I was mana short. Land. Ugh, I need land for Golgari Queen. Like I could kill that thing with Bone Crusher Giant. I, I mean, sorry, I could kill this thing with Trophy, but then I ramp them. That's nothing I want to do. I don't want to ramp them.
I'd rather kind of take this turn off and just play Paradise Druid than ramp them. Only craft one deck. I mean it I leave dead bodies wherever I go. Ready to That kinda depends also, like it depends on Um oh, the day is yours. You know, like if you're if you can only if if you're trying to win as much as like you know, as far as like trying to enjoy magic as much as possible, it's kind of a different answer for every single person. I can't really tell you that. If you're trying to win as much as possible, uh I think the Simic ramp that we played felt the strongest. But again, this is this is, you know, day one. You know, like things are gonna change. But as far as like those cards that are in the deck are I think are pretty safe to craft and stuff, but you know, like the list may need to go through a little bit of an overhaul and stuff as things change. That's a Perfectly, perfectly fine spot to be at. Together, we will prevail. All right. Going to game three. Going to game three. So they got like the four three that they can stop and then play. Am I supposed to play Murderous Riders because of those things? Help get Questing Beast through. Maybe. I'm going to cut one of the two Great Henges and cut an Incubation Druid with them having all their shock. You know, they just play a ton of shocks, and then those things also shock. Lots of shocks. Worried about the Esper stack decks. With Simic Ramp, there's the Esper Doom Foretold. There's probably something to do for that matchup. I don't have to kind of go through and really look at it, but there's there's probably something to do. Is like Flood of Tears good there? Like make them bounce all their permanents? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, Vivian, Vivian rotated out. There's no more Vivian. So they obviously have shock. Like they, if they're keeping this hand, they they have shocks. Shock doesn't kill Questing Beast though. So yeah, I, I like don't get to play Nissa like at all anymore. But this Questing Beast, hopefully, like with with them at one, one land, hopefully just ends the game really fast. Worst case scenario is they have Brazen Buccaneer to bounce, but they didn't do it. Now we have Vela Summer up. 
You know your your cards like I guess they're going want me to go to combat so I don't get to just replay it. But now Buccaneer should just go to the graveyard. Because the effect gets countered. I'm going this route instead of playing Paradise Druid so that I can have Veil of Summer still up. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense, because, yeah, if they, if they did it while I was tapped out, and if I just, like, I could just play land, then questing beast, and then attack again, so it makes sense why they waited. It's not, like, a typical removal spell. Like, where it would just be gone for good. Well, they should do it while I'm tapped out. Um, I think the troll is a giant. That sounds right. I can check here real quick. Nope, it's just a troll. It just says creature troll. Bale Summer is just pretty unbelievable. But that's a card. Alright, what can they do? They're at two. They got three cards in hand. They're trying to hold on here. That looks like that's the 5 0. 5 0. Our troll deck. Actually getting the 5-0. Putting us to number 8. That's single digits. That's single digits. Five win dream. Defeated the final boss. Yeah, that that is the high. That's the first time I've been in single digits. <laughs> yeah, questing beast is good. The troll was good. Golgari haste. Turns out Veil of Summer is good. Awesome. Or I meant to say also. That's twelve hours and fourteen minutes. We got there. Uh, we were around like number 500. We were 500 something today. Um, yeah, and we started this deck. Whenever we started this deck, I was like, okay, well, this is just, you know, we just put four Clackbridge Trolls together and then kind of put, put some other cards in there. This will probably damage our rank. You know, we'll probably rank down. But no, not only did we, you know, we went from like 25 or whatever. Um, I don't know, something like that. Back up to maybe 24. Back up to uh, number 8 there. Yeah. Hey, awesome, Kevin. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Yeah, if, if y'all had uh, liked the stream and everything, check out the YouTube channel. This is where I put all of the replays there. So if you missed any of the decks today um, that you want, you know, check them out over on YouTube there, youtube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave comments. Uh, please do all those things. I appreciate all of that. Hey, rip getting the gifted sub from Starman with the hype here for the five O. Thank you so much there, Starman. So there we go. 
Yeah, so we had two five O's and a four one to close out the stream. Pretty nice. We'll be back tomorrow um, with the other decks. You know, so we'll have Teamer Midrange and Mono Green Stompy tomorrow. I got a donation deck from Julius that we'll be playing as well, and then we'll play another deck, maybe like the Teamer uh, Invention. I know people are asking about that one, so we'll probably play that one again tomorrow. I usually stream from three east. The stream starts at three o'clock Eastern, three Eastern to 10 Eastern. Usually stream that seven hour period every single day. Um, yeah, this is my schedule each and every day uh, doing this. So it's my full time thing. So. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I really appreciate the, the subs and stuff for sure. And I appreciate y'all on YouTube as well. Checking out the channel and, uh, you know, leaving all the comments and all that kind of stuff on YouTube. So thank you very much over there. Um, I don't really know what to change about the deck as far as like anything to change. Uh, the Blight Beetle looked kind of bad. Uh, if you want, if we want different sideboard cards, if you start like, if you, st if you play this deck a little bit, if you struggle against anything and you want, and you're like, okay, I, I need something, uh, you know, you lose to like whatever matchup and you want something in your, your deck for the, that matchup, take out the Blight Beetles. That card doesn't need to be there. That was like something we wanted to try, but that, that really doesn't need to be there. So really I, I have like a 13 card sideboard here. So, you know, that's two free sideboard slots for whatever you want to, to have there. I, I'd have to say the Simic Ramp deck probably felt the most powerful. I'd have to say that, but um, I like the Model Black Value deck, too. I think it has some good upside there. But, yeah, these these green decks, like, the hard, the hard part about playing Model Black, even though, is just even Veil of Summers. Green has so much good stuff. Questing Beast was ridiculous. This is the reason why I, this was the card that I gave the A-plus to in the set. This was... What I said was the best card in the set, but Oko, Oko surprised me. Oko surprised me how good it was. I thought Oko was good, but Oko looked even better than good. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Clackbridge Troll is awesome. It, it was it was pretty good for us. All right, so there we go. Um, again, thank you very much for watching on YouTube. Hope you check out all the other videos and stuff as well. Um, but uh, we'll see you tomorrow there. I guess. Yeah. So thanks for watching. See you for the next video. Murder Rider, awesome. Yeah, just awesome. Just real good. <laughs>